All right, that's us going out live for another shot of Doctor Who at the edge of time on PSVR. Right. So hopefully we're going to continue from where we left off. But when we left off there was a glitch where I would fall through the floor of the TARDIS. I'm hoping that's a way. <laughs> but we'll find out. Time for a wee relax and the sort of ember space dust stuff. While it loads. While it loads all the floor, please. <laughs> please. So I can get stuck in another puzzle for an hour. Nice. Well done you! You've got us the first time, Crystal. We just need two more, then I can escape and save the universe from the reality virus. Sounds easy when you say it quickly, doesn't it? But you know what? You managed to get something else very important. When you zapped the controls, you downloaded Emma into the sonic screwdriver. I offered the Zleisters the same chance of escape, but they chose to go out in a blaze of... Well, you can't really call it glory. Okay. We've got a second time crystal to get our mitts on. When you were on Lucia Minor, Medipods implanted a nanotranslator into your brain. You won't have felt a thing, and they're harmless. The TARDIS is going to transmit Emma's thoughts into the translator, so you'll be able to hear her wherever you are. All the knowledge she extracted from the ship's databanks is now in her memory. I reckon you and Emma are going to make a great team. At least I hope so. If you don't, it's end of the world time, so no pressure then. I know this probably feels weird, me talking to you like this via the nanotranslator in your brain. I can talk to you, offer advice, process readings and data and stuff like that, but I can't help you in any physical sense. Soz. Activate the TARDIS when you're ready. All right. I'm ready. say the time crystal is oh you know what i think it's in the time cabinet of the late but unlamented magnus greel which makes my spidey senses start to tingle big time let's take a closer look where we are i can't guide you this time i've got too much to do back here but emma will help you like I said, the TARDIS is going to patch her directly through to you. She should be able to track the time crystal. So get out there, find it, bring it back, and don't hang about. Evil and me go way back, and I can't put my finger on it, but somewhere out there, evil is waiting. Good luck. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I guess it's loading me into the new area. So, London Victorian era, get the time crystal. <clears throat> no messing about. Nice. Get a load of this.
That's cool. I like that. Smart. Nice. Oh, I'm glad. Good to see you well, that's pretty. Cheers for tuning in. Glad you got my rank. It's one more animal we cross. <laughs> this place looked deserted. I can sense something. I can't make sense of the readings I'm getting. Have a look around. Let's see what we can find out. Oops. <laughs> Just walking about touching all the things. There's a lot of different things here. There's all kinds of cool gizmos in here. Yeah. Check out that old cylinder phonograph by the window. Yeah. How I did. do you reckon you get it to play? That's a good shout. With that cylinder. Solving puzzles. I love solving puzzles. That's what Professor Waiting would say. I don't know how we got it on, but it is on. And then push the button. No. <laughs> move a wee bit further away from it and try and push the button. No. It looks like a couple of the pieces are missing. Oh yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. You're right. That's good. That is helpful. The game must have been like, you know what, it took them hours with, with two real easy puzzles, so just help them every step of the way now. The perfect fit. Wind it up, and let's see if it still works. Good evening, my friend. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Sir Manfred Grail, collector of objets d'art and singular ephemera. I know who you are. And your companion, Emma. Does that surprise you? It shouldn't. You have invaded my home before. Many times. I'm aware you seek the cabinet of Magnus Greel and the crystal within. You've done well to get this far, mon camarade de guerre. You are brave and resourceful, and so I'll give you one piece of crucial information and a warning. Although why I should is beyond me, as I cannot hope to profit from it. But this is vital. If you are to reach the cabinet, you must... This is vital. If you are to reach the cabinet, you must... special lift. Learn its mysteries, and it will take you to the crypts below my home. Here you will find the cabinet and the time crystal which it holds. Your prize. <laughs> But every prize must have its perils. <laughs> Where would be the fun if it was as easy as simply finding the cabinet? No, no, no. That wouldn't do at all. It is protected. That warning I promised you. The cabinet is guarded by my angels. Although I suspect that since the changes, they may no longer be my angels. I fear they are coming, and will destroy me as they will surely destroy you too, my friend. My final warning, whatever you do, don't... No. No. No! Manfred dead now. Manfred big fat boy, but Angel's still hungry. Angel's still hungry. Angel's feast on you. Angel's feast on you. Angels eat you. We're coming! 
coming to get you. We're coming to get you. Cry baby bunting. Doctor's friends have gone a hunting. On to fetch the precious stones. But the angels eat your bones. Hmm. You know what the scary thing is? The voices aren't coming from the phonograph anymore. Do me a favor. Give that crank on the phonograph another spin. And let's see what this room will look like when we've left. Well, we've got a swanky new room to explore. Hop to it. Uh, okay. This thing. I wonder if there might be something helpful which isn't here. Yet. I wonder as well. That was quite scary, all that but back there. <laughs> They're coming to eat me. Hey, check out the cylinder phonograph. Try winding it up. The bow tie. Check out the cylinder phonograph. Try winding it up. Look at that huge painting above the fireplace. It's... Yuck! Bugs! Yeah. There's bugs. Some of these fancy books match the bugs in the painting above the fireplace. What are these books? What books? Books match the bugs. When I was rummaging through the TARDIS database, I read about an ancient collection of enchanted books that could only be activated by fire. You don't suppose these books could be from that collection, do you? M maybe. This book. The same as the one in the painting. I have to burn the book. Hmm. Wrong one. There must be another book to burn before this one. What? Nope. The flame didn't burn purple. It must be the wrong order. Okay. <laughs> to ask, but you may need to start burning some of these books. Whoa! Look at that flame! I think we're on the right track. Right, so that one... How many books are there? I know that this one's here, and I know the other one was the, the right one, so... Pardon me, might as well burn this one as well. Hmm. Wrong one. Ah. There must be another book to burn before this one. I see. Hmm. Wrong one. There must be another book to burn before this one. Yes. You mentioned. But it's good though. Because it 
I know what to do at least. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that flame. I think we're on the right track. Uh, this one. Maybe the books need to be burnt in a certain order. That's right. Maybe they do. Maybe this will burn purple. Okay, and the next one. So is this the last one? I should maybe look around. We know the order so far, though. Hmm. Wrong one. Wrong one. There must be another book to burn before okay. this one. Break there. Right, so the painting. That must be it. Place the books in the same order as the stages of the life cycle of the firefly. So this. Whoa! Look at that flame. I think we're on the right track. This. Oh. Went into the dark zone there. And the next one. This. Sorry, Skull. Sorry, Grail. It's for the good of the universe. Some of these fancy books match the bugs in the painting above the fireplace. True. No, not expect that. Let's follow it. Okay. The painting. Free me. Use the flames. Huh? What a creepy painting. Use the flames. Or burn the painting. Did that painting just move? Yeah, yeah, it did. It's gonna give me a bad jump scare, isn't it? A Doctor Who game. Right, can he burn the painting? Start chucking all sorts of things in the fire. <laughs> or is there another painting there? Just start chucking things in the fire for a wee bit <laughs> until the game goes. No, that's that's really not the right answer. Now they don't really, they don't burn. Use the fire. That game's gonna give me a bad time. Is it the bones? Human bones. No. Let's 
just chuck everything out of fire. <laughs> okay. The flames. Maybe I need to go back first. still open. Fire's out. And we're in the painting in here. Still in the painting. Chucking out any advice. Use the flames. stuck in them already. This is a candle. To light these things? No? Or no? <laughs> Burn the painting? I thought I was getting somewhere when I picked this up. I was like, yes, of course. The candle. Burn the candle. No. Uh, doesn't smash. That kind of bounces. Uh, I don't know. Candle is back. Which means that it's important. Because the other items I've chucked about didn't go back. So I use the flames. I did fit. So did that. Is there three? Set me free! 
remains our key. I just had a wee accident there. Um, I'm thinking we listen to the demon painting before she gets annoyed. Three. Cat, I don't even know what she said there. I'm so terrified. <laughs> so I didn't think anything was happening. <coughs> There's one. Right. So I'm just cool. <laughs> just don't scream at me again. Volume's really loud in the headphones. Bring me home into the light. I'm trying. Doing you a favour here, come on. I think. That door. Someone just opened it. Oh, that'll be good. <laughs> Who? Who just opened it? With the open it because there's a candle outside. And they're trying to be helpful. Oh no, no. <laughs> no, they opened it because they're trying to give me a bad time. But there's a candle in here, so let me just uh, grab that. And I'll be on my way. Don't grab me or get me. Nice. Look, here's your candle. <laughs> right. That really was not nice at all. <laughs> a key. Wait a second. The insignia matches the lock on the base of that phonograph. Right. So I'm just going straight to the phonograph, yeah? And you're, uh... Gonna go back in the painting? Yes. Don't. You found it. Well played, Sherlock. You have in your hand a trionic lattice, also known as a time key. Put it in your pocket for now. I reckon it will come in handy later on. Right, so we've got a time key. I'm getting out of this place. Oh no. No, I'm not done there then. <laughs> or am I? Am I supposed to use this thing? No. Okay. Supposed to get in his cupboard. His cabinet. <laughs> What's this? I guess we're getting in now. How about you leave me in the TARDIS for this one? No?
The readings I'm getting are off the chart. Ah, oh, the crypt is absolutely infested with angels. So just get to the cabinet. Open it using the time key. Grab the time crystal and get the hell out of there. And whatever you do, don't blink. Don't even blink. Gonna give me a bad one here, aren't they? That's my maximum get fast distance. Don't, don't jump scare me. It's the time crystal. Grab it before the angels decide you're a threat. You did it! And I'm using the power of the second crystal to get through to the Doctor. See if she can get the TARDIS to materialise inside the building, so we can vamoose before the Angels figure out a way to follow us. Great. Right. Scary. Very quiet. Looks like the generator is out. Suppose we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Look, we can still get out of this place. Let's make a start by winding the crank on that generator unit, the one on the wall up ahead. A moment longer and the lift will open. Bad jump scare time. Crystal, everything is going to be fine. I think. Uh. Well, that didn't last long, did it? According to the TARDIS database, weeping angels have a unique self-defense mechanism. Long story short, keep them in sight and we should be okay. And that's it! The power is on, but the lift doors need a moment to open. You've got this. The lift doors are open. Aren't they? Ah, oh, the elevator's open. We're good to go. No. <laughs> I was in the elevator. 
<sighs> that was all right, though. If it was right in my face, that would have been a bad one. I wonder where it'll load it from. Right back at the beginning of the puzzle. <laughs> Burning the Vix. need a moment to open. You've got this. this thing up. You're nearly there. Just hang on and the lift doors will open. Right, up there. Getting closer to the TARDIS. I can feel it. <sighs> You're nearly there. Just hang on, and the lift doors will open. So that's why the weeping angel in the painting gave us the key. It wasn't helping us. It wanted us down here, so we'd have to face these angels. Uh. You 
made it! Great! Now, let's get back to the TARDIS. Uh... Huh. Do I just have to open the door? Yes. Nice. That was quite scary. That was scarier than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> Terrified by Doctor Who in VR. Brave. I'm glad to be back. Things got pretty hectic back there. We make quite a good team, don't we? What took you so long? While you've been sightseeing and taking it easy, I've been doing the donkey work and finding out what's behind the reality virus. First things first, though. I can detect a force is trying to fix us in a tractor beam. I'm not having that. I'm going to remote pilot the TARDIS away from Earth. Back in a tick. And you might want to find something to hang on to. Okay. Pull the activation lever and let's go. Okay. three but nowhere near as good as metabolis one or two they were great i told you i've been tracking down what was behind the reality virus well now i know and it's not good news but if you're risking your life to help me i think you deserve to know the truth emma maybe you can generate some images to go along with what i'm telling you right then billions of millennia ago when the universe was fragile and new planets formed and stars began to burn and at some point, no one really knows when, the very first sentient life form in all of creation was born. Or maybe I should say, she began to exist. The universe's first creature with conscious awareness was, by definition, all alone in the world. She spawned more of her own species, nurtured them. She was the very first mother. The cosmos expanded. Planets and stars became vast galaxies, and life spread throughout countless systems, throughout centuries. And that first sentient being, let's call her the first, while well, she slept for billions of years. But as the prototype for all consciousness, the first had design faults, teething problems, the most serious of which was very obvious. She didn't know how to die. When she was revived, she looked on in absolute horror at what her children had turned into. Their warfare and cruelty and brutality all appalled her. She felt duty-bound to right these wrongs. She was compelled to destroy her creations, to eradicate all sentient life, to return the universe to how it had been when she gazed across the first horizons, to atone. The first has evolved into a super intelligent but very damaged figure. She's experienced many forms over the years, but now, I believe, she's humanoid. She sees herself as simply escalating a process that species right across the universe are already hell-bent upon. She's nurturing conflict and chaos and destruction so she can end their plight and begin anew. She's not a god, and she's not evil. She wants redemption. She wants another chance. She wants children who love her and each other. And we, well, we have to stop her. So that's who's behind the reality virus. That's who we're up against. That's who we're up against. We're close, though. Get hold of the final time crystal, and the TARDIS can get all three of them to me, so I can get back to where I should be and, you know, save the universe. It's what I do best.
I just want to warn you, though. The TARDIS has sensed the first is near. The danger's never been greater. Be careful. <laughs> I think I was a wee bit too close to the hologram there. A wee quick drink of juice. Maybe if we can find it in, in reality. Still cool. Whoa! Look at this place. Hey, I don't want to be that guy, but I've already got some bad news. The sand that blow across the surface of this planet are somehow blocking my Zyton readings. That means you're going to have to find the last time crystal the old school way. Oh no! No, you need to give me help. You are welcome, visitor. Enjoy the serenity and grace of our world. I think it's the planet itself welcoming us. I've had a quick squiz through the local archives, and this place is known as the Temple of the First. That can't be a coincidence. Look, I'm not jumping for joy at the prospect of going in there. But it is the most likely place to find the final crystal. We've got to check it out. Going in here. This seems to be the entrance. So how do we get in? be a way to activate the stone dais. <laughs> Use that on everything. You know what? You could try using the sonic. Are you kidding? That's what I'm doing. That's it. Oh. Keep doing that. I think it's working. <laughs> Good old sonic. Good old sonic the hedgehog. Good old sonic the screwdriver. <laughs> Crystal. Ah, I didn't think it'd be that easy. Right. I may have spoken too soon. Hey, at least it can't get any worse. <laughs> Did you speak too soon again? Ah, the sonic isn't working this time. Through those big doors. That's where you come in. There's no time like the present, mate. I know you're scared. I am too, but you know, upwards and onwards. Upwards. These doors. Uh 
I missing something? This temple is amazing and stuff, but I think you ought to press that button now. No pressure, but the universe is at stake. Oh, this this button. This button. Looks like that's it. <laughs> so I use the sonic screwdriver and everything. Serene and peaceful. What is this? The Dalek part. Shh! Don't be too loud. Daleks can detect even the slightest sound. And we really need to get past this one and through that door. If you wander like... into its light or get too close, they'll attack like there's no tomorrow. And if you die. There may not be a tomorrow. Sensors indicate you are not a Dalek. You will be exterminated. We need to distract them. Yeah, these sensors indicated that I'm not a Dalek. Quite correctly. <laughs> the best voice. Oh, what have I done with the juice? There it is. Right, how are we getting past this guy? I thought it's, uh, maybe I've got the right solution, but I just went too fast. <laughs> I thought I'd distracted him by flinging a bit of Dalek over there. Okay, third time's the charm, maybe. <laughs> Come on, let me back in. Big load times in between trying things oh, is going to be annoying. That's a Dalek. I thought this place was meant to be serene and peaceful. Let's see if we can do this this time. Or maybe I have to use this to hit the switch. So I can get through. Shh! Don't be too loud. Daleks can detect even the slightest sound. I have to send them over there. To get past this one and through that door. If I go. If you wander into its light or get too close, they'll attack like there's no tomorrow. And if you die, there may not be a tomorrow. Running. Scanning. Scanning. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> that was a close one. Okay. with your solid skills. Tapped into the TARDIS database, and you know I said things couldn't get any worse. Yeah, well, I was wrong. Remember that time glitch? Well, now we're in a future where the Daleks invaded the planet. They're trying to work out how to harness the power of the time crystals. The more immediate problem 
I'm picking up signals from a bunch of Daleks. All pretty close to where we are now. I'm guessing more cheese graters from hell. Stay sharp, okay? And stay out of their sight. Cheese graters from hell. Oh. Nah. Alright. I'm just gonna grab some more Dalek parts, but mm. looks like the same door from before. What do you mean? We can't reach the trigger from here. You'll have to improvise. Maybe you could activate it from a little way off. Let's see how good your aim is. Dalek Command reports that Earth has fallen. Our empire stretches from Skaro to New Spyridon. <laughs> we must reign supreme. The Dalek Empire must be universal. The new power source will unlock total dominion for the Daleks. Reports indicate the presence of temporal anomalies. <laughs> Wait, is this where I was? No. Ah, another one. Let's Where's do the same as before, okay? Slow and stealthy. Oh, I need to trigger the door as well, though. That's going to be hard. Come on, pick that up. Grab it. <laughs> oh, no. Turn around, Dalek. That's not turning around. Area eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Turn Death again. to the enemies of the Daleks. <laughs> There's nothing else I can pick up to find. I need to find a way to get my hands on these things, right? I gotta do it. If I maybe sit further back and then sit further forward. To the enemies no. of the Daleks. <laughs> Not the Sonic screwdriver. Let's pick up this. Ah. Uh. To the enemies of the Daleks. Flying this big. Chunk of Dalek at the door. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> what a shot. Oh no, that was for that door. Object has been scanned as this and understood. Oh, I could have came round here. As long as he doesn't see me. It'll be like area eight. Aye. In area eight. Area eight. <laughs> Daily. Turn left now, Dalek. That's it. Unit patrol completed in area eight. <laughs> Don't see me. These things are there. Where's the button this time? We need to get that door open. What door? That door. Where's the button? That Dalek is blocking our way. That we need button. to get it to move. Message to Dalek Command. Part of energy has been detected. We believe the temple has been breached by an associate of the Doctor. <laughs> the intruder will be destroyed. Uh. 
and associate of the doctor by Dalek. Wow, that was intense. Can you imagine what it's like to be the doctor and do this kind of stuff all the time? <laughs> For me personally, I'll take the TARDIS database over killer aliens any day of the week. <laughs> Daleks have got the best voices. Sorry, scratching. Right, let's try and get you in a straight line, Doctor. Well, not Doctor. Who am I? Is it just me? Hmm. I don't think these ones are occupied, so to speak. You're not thinking what I'm thinking, are you? I. I get to be a Dalek. I'll try and do the voice. We need to reach that time crystal. But it looks like this is a dead end. The red one? And here? We've got to return to the stone dais before the Daleks get their hands on it. Well, I say hands. Maybe we could hop in and take a ride inside a Dalek. It'd be the perfect disguise. The perfect, highly weaponized, fully armored disguise. How are there so many of them here? Are we getting in one then? Getting in this one? No? Use your Sonic on the Dalek casing in the corner. Uh, of course. This one here. The red one. We need to reach that time crystal. But it looks like this is a dead end. Nice. And we get. Ha! Great minds really do think alike. Okay, I'm gonna control the movement because I'm pretty sure I'm a better driver than you. You take care of the shooty bits. Shooty bits. And just so you don't freak. I've altered the power setting on the weaponry you'll be using. When you blast a Dalek, you're only taking out its casing. You're not actually killing the creature inside. Okay, let's go. Nice. Pardon me. Get to be a Dalek. You would make a good Dalek. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Must be fire. eliminated. Yeah. Nice. This is pretty cool. So I aim with my face. Fire with my left hand. Where's my right hand? Then? Okay. Get us through those doors.
Thanks for that after it's happened. So I can get shot. How that works. Don't don't kill me now though. Come on, you knew it. Yeah, but human is an effective warrior and must be destroyed. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dalek voices. Then we got the mega guns now for a wee while.
good, good fun with the screen and robots. Wow, thanks. Oh, he's not gonna get me, that's fine. I hope he's not gonna get me. Yeah, no, got me. Oh. Oh, the final crystal is in there. Blast that dice and get us out of here. Oh, these. Kill some of these things for the kill me. It's gone. Oh man, I was starting to feel at home in there. There must be a way to activate this stone dais. and see what's happening. Pardon me. What the? What's going on? The TARDIS has been destroyed. We're too late. She's wiped out reality. You? Yeah. That was fast. Okay, we're in the inner temple of the first, and here she is. Don't try anything rash. She's unbelievably powerful. Unbelievably powerful? You say it like it was a bad thing. Power, in the right hands, can be beautiful. And you don't have to worry about my omnipotence. After all, Mother knows best. 
I only wanted what was best for my children. Would you hold that against me? Could you hold that against any parent? The only difference is, I have the power to make my resolve become reality. I will give you a second chance. I will give all living creatures rebirth. And before that rebirth, I ask for only one thing. Your death. Universal annihilation in exchange for a brighter tomorrow. Wow. Talk about tough love. I love you all. Good night. I'm gonna need your help more than ever now, because the universe is hanging by a thread. The reality virus has deleted the TARDIS interior and wiped out almost everything. But hey, I love a good almost. And right now, that almost says to me, you can still do this. You can fight it. You can come back. Because this time round, I found out very quickly that sometimes all it really needs is a leap of faith. in the land of the living, are you? The doctor filled me in. Turns out she didn't need the Zyton. But she did need you to visit all those places to collect the time crystals, because she knew the first was watching her, and by extension, watching you. Those locations were the last things in the first's memory, and so they're virtually the last snatches of reality to be destroyed. I've hidden three items, one in each of three environments. The doctor disguised the items, but all of them has something unique about their physical appearance. A clue that suggests they're bound up with the first in some way. I'll explain later, but when they're placed together, they'll form a device powerful enough to deal with the first. I hope. Because the universe is so fractured, to reach a location that still exists, you just have to visualise it. That's what you've got to do now. I can't help you, because the voice you're hearing now is a simple psychic projection while I keep the first busy. First, you must remember the office from the London Laundrette. Let your memories guide us to where we need to go now. I'm losing you. And your connection's drifting. Can you still hear me? connection is strengthening. Our optic connection is getting clearer. Start looking for the second piece. You got it. We need just one more piece, which means one more memory. <laughs> memory of the weasels, then. What do you think you're doing? Are you trying? Trying to interfere with my plans? Ignore her. Just find the third object, and let's... You did it! We've got the final piece of the device. I'm gonna pull you back to the temple, so we can put the three pieces together. We're back! Oh! What happened? The objects... They're here... But what do we do now? You're too late. Don't you see that? I'm redeeming my children, giving you all a second chance. Why would you fight against that? Happy Mother's Day. I think we need some help. Doctor, what now? My lot, my people. They reckoned the first might make it here someday, so they created a device powerful and ingenious enough to send her back to her beginning. It was too dangerous to leave lying about. So I split it into three and hid it. I knew the first would be watching me, so I needed you to make sure those locations were amongst the last to exist, and that you could get back to them. That was crucial. You had to know them really well. I've appealed to the first to let us continue to live our lives, offered her a truce. She refused. 
So now, now you have to send her back to the genesis of time using the device you've assembled. You've hardly any time left. I know what you've got to do. You've got to sonic the device. Flowers, remember my love for you. I only wanted what was best for my children. For you. Well, I don't want you to get too big in the boots, but guess what? I reckon you just saved the universe. <laughs> Gold trophy for saving the universe. has been flung back to the beginning of time but she's not dead without her the virus ceased to exist and reality has snapped back into place but because the first lives she's effectively in a time loop she will try time and time again to unleash the virus and wipe out all of sentient creation her threat will recur over and over she will always return which is why you must always be there to stop her I'm taking you back to where it all started. The little laundry in London. I'm sorry I misled you. I had to. I let the first kidnap me, and I had to let her think I was done for. I knew she might intercept some messages, and knew she wouldn't be worried about you collecting Zyton. Why would she? She thought she was invincible. But all the time I was working with you. I only work with the best, and I knew you fitted the bill. I always know. And before you go, one more thing. Emma, I've downloaded her consciousness into a synthetic person. Someone you might recognize. Away from all this, she's living a happy life because of everything you did. And she is so grateful. We've landed. The TARDIS has brought us home. Recognize this place? Gone. Take a look. You're gonna have to do it all over again to save the universe and steady. You'll feel disorientated for a second or two. That's because we've shorted out the time differential, but you'll be okay in a tick. Right, this is goodbye. For now, just two more things. One, thank you, really. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. And two, you remember Emma told you she'd always be your friend. Well, that makes two of us. Nice. So yeah, that was pretty good. I like this, travelling through the, the wormhole.
Hey, Bish. That is cool. <laughs> but yeah, so that was Doctor Who, The Edge of Time on PlayStation VR. Uh, click on Arcade. Ah, uh, so it's just the, the same parts. Fun nice. Cheers for tuning in, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll hopefully see you again soon. Bye. Bye, Doctor Who, the edge of time. Bye. Bye.